Hey guys, it's Techo Freak here, and welcome to episode two of my Q and A series for Amnesia Rebirth. Um, so, if you're new to these Q and A videos, um, it's the series pretty much where I answer your questions on um, that you've asked in my main tutorial series for Amnesia Rebirth, um, and I answer anything that you ask and um, and kind of show you how to how to implement it in a video rather than just uh, typing it up. Um, the, it is pretty time consuming to have to, um, to type it up sometimes. So sometimes it's just a bit easier to do a video reply. Um, so, um, let's go ahead and get started on today's video. Um, so today's, uh, today's episode is going to be on a comment by, uh, Pat M and he asks, uh, is there a way to make it so that when Tassie is in the light, her fear will actually go down rather than just sit at a rate of zero. So um, that's actually a very interesting question. Um, it's actually very simple to implement something like this. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So pretty much what uh, Pat M is looking for, it seems like he's looking to make it so that when the when Tassie enters the light, um, the fear will start to decrease. So um, fear will cure, will pretty much essentially cure your fear level. Um, and reduce it is what he's looking for. So um, it's actually a very fun uh, thing to implement. I think it would be really fun to implement it. So I thought I would cover this um, in the, the second Q&A video. Uh, like I said, it's actually very simple to implement. Um, and you can obviously take the code here and turn it into something more specific, more detailed. You can take it from here. Um, uh, it's, it's actually, I'm gonna show you the, the, the basics. It's really cool. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So. So what we want, um, again, what we want is so that when when uh, the main character steps in a light, uh, an area that has light, you want the fe fear to start going down and her fear to start recovering. So, um, so when she's when 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 Tassie's not in the light, we want to make it so that um, uh, either nothing happens or she just takes like darkness fear or whatever. So uh, we pretty much just need to implement some way to uh, to make to make the game check constantly whether or not um, Tassie is in the light. And if she is, check check to see, um, you know, check the threshold of the light level. And once you pass that threshold, then you know, you can start applying um, a negative fear rate to start reducing uh, Tassie's fear. So, so um, what we're gonna do here, um, first thing we're gonna do, if we're gonna do something like that, we're gonna need to add a global fear area, pretty much. Um, an area where no matter where you are on the map, you're inside of fear area because again, you can't apply fear on uh, uh, apply apply fear or reduce fear unless the player is inside of a fear area. So um, uh, we're gonna go we're gonna go ahead and put a fear area. And today and this Q and A will reference episode twenty one and ten. Um, episode twenty one is fear and episode 10 is timers. So um, we're gonna use what we learned in those episodes and put it together and we'll add, we'll use one new function that we probably have, we haven't talked about yet. Um, and you, you'll see that when we get to it. So um, first let's go ahead and get an area here. And what we wanna look for is just fear. So it should be right here. So just fear. And we wanna go ahead and make an area that encompasses the whole map. So let me see if I can get a good, uh, looks like I accidentally placed one down there. Uh, let me see if I can get a good uh, area here that covers the whole map. And I think this looks good. Okay, yeah. So we'll use this and we'll bring it down here to kind of fit in the whole map. And it looks like that pretty much has the whole map covered, maybe a little bit higher here. Um, so that, ha that fits the whole map here. Um, and uh, we'll give it a name. We won't need the name, but in case you're going to use it, in your script file, you might want to make sure you give it a good name. So I'm going to call it um, Global Fear Area. Uh, just make pretty straightforward. Just you know, Global Fear Area it covers the whole map essentially. Um, and uh, we want to change a few things under here. Um, of course, you can modify this however you want, um, but these are the settings I'm going to use for the, um, the example today. So um, what we want first is we want to turn on dark. We want to turn off darkness fear. So, um, if you're unaware, if darkness fear is on, um, the player up gets applied a 0.4, um, 0.4 fear rate whenever they are in the darkness and not near the light. 
Um, so uh, by unchecking this, the player won't get any fear from being in the dark. Of course, if you wish that effect to occur, then make sure you take that. But we're not going to turn that on. We don't want pretty much if he's in the if uh, the player is in this area, we don't want the player to have any uh, fear effects um, that we haven't specified uh, specifically. Um, and then the next one we want to change is the non-agent rate cap. So again, uh, this references um, my fear episode, which is episode 21. But this pretty much caps the fear inside of this area to 0.8, meaning even if you apply fear by other means, it can never go past this number. We don't want this global fear area to affect um, other fear areas that we might put inside of the level. Um, so um, I'm going to set this to 1, which is the max fear rate that's allowed, which means that this pretty much won't hold back any other fear um any other fear things that we put in our level, any other fear areas, any other uh, fear um, scripted events that we put in our level. So one will make it so that um, the, the, any anything inside of this area can go up to one in fear rate. Um, so we, that's why we set that to one. And uh, with that, we're pretty much done with everything that needs to be in the level, just pretty much the fear area. Um, and now we're gonna go ahead and go to our uh, script file here. So here's our script file. So um, what we wanna do uh, the way the way we're going to implement this, um, of course, this is only one implementation. I'm sure you can come up with other implementations. And this will be the case for a lot of my Q&A videos. Um, a lot of the implementations I'll show you are probably the first ones I think about. Um, more, more often than not, there were probably multiple ways to implement the same thing. Um, it's really up to your own creativity on how you implement these. Um, I'm showing you the way I thought of first uh, once um, uh, Pat M asked this. So... Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just show it the way I learned first. Of course, I can think of several other ways you could get, um, get away with uh, doing this as well. But I just thought this to be the simplest and most straightforward way. Um, so what we're going to do here, um, we, want, we want to start a timer. And what the timer will do, it will constantly run on a loop that will check for the fear rate. Um, so we want this to happen um, as soon as the player enters the level, um, which is either when he spawns in or when he comes in through a door um, somewhere from a different level, something like that. So um, to do that, we're gonna have to put a line under uh, on enter here. So we're gonna go ahead and put that here and that's gonna be the timer that we're gonna add here. So we're gonna say map add timer. And then we wanna go ahead and give the timer a name. Um, of course, this is just for us to reference in our script. Again, uh, we talked about timers in episode 10. So if you wanna go ahead and look at that, if you haven't already, I would highly recommend it. Um, and uh, timer, uh, we're going to give it the name timer underscore, and I'm just going to call it check fear. So this is the timer that's going to check fear. Um, uh, we will put a bit of a delay on it before uh, we start the timer. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm not going to apply any, any, I'm not going to increase the player's fear um, for about 10 seconds after the player enters the level. So we'll put 10.0F. If you want to start right away, you can put like one second zero seconds you know whatever whatever you want i mean it's not much of a timer um if you do zero seconds so i would put some kind of a delay when the player enters the level there's a bit uh, there's a brief moment before this effect starts kicking in so i'm going to give it a 10 second delay just that way we can see we can see it kick in and then we'll put comma put space and now we got to put the uh the, the name of the the timer function so um, we're going to go ahead and put two uh, two quotation marks here and we'll call it on timer and we're going to call it the same name that we put here except we're putting on timer in the beginning and we're going to type in check fear um, and that's going to be our function name our timers functions name um, and we're going to go ahead and save it up here so we went ahead and we added the time we we're creating the timer now so in 10 seconds this function will ex execute so let's go ahead and go to the bottom of all our functions we're just going to put it down at the uh, at the bottom here so uh, we'll make some new space here and I will go ahead and uh, write up our function. So that's gonna go ahead and be void on timer. Uh, and let's get the name exactly the way uh, we had it up there. Check fear, you might wanna just copy and paste it to make it easier. Um, and then we'll do open and close parentheses and we'll add in our curly brace and hit enter right away just to get all our curly braces and everything in. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and put in the, uh, the, the some, some variables in here. So we're just gonna put one, it's gonna be C O N S T. Uh, and then it's going to be T string, and then we're going to write uh, ampersand in as timer, 
Uh, and again, we, we did go over this in episode 10. Um, so that's the variable we're going to pass in. Um, and now uh, in here, now we got our timer going. So 10 seconds after uh, the player enters the level, this timer will go off. And um, what we want to do first, let's just print a message so we can visually see it working. Um, this is a debug message, so this will only be seen in the dev mode. Um, of course, you don't have to do this part, um, but just so I can visually show you guys the code kind of executing, I'm going to go ahead and add a debug message here so we can see it. And we'll just say checking fear, dot, dot, dot. Um, and then we'll go ahead and put a semicolon to close that off. And... Um, and that's just to let us know that uh, the timer went off. Um, and now this is where the real, um, where the real, uh, real meat and bones of this implementation comes in. So we're gonna say if, and we'll go ahead and do our parentheses and curly braces here. And we're gonna say player underscore get light level. So it's the first one here. Um, and you'll see the two variables that are there are um, ignore lighter and um, ignore lantern. Um, let me actually just zoom you guys in um, just so you guys can get a, a better view of uh, this code here. Um, so it's uh, player underscore um, and it's going to be uh, get light level. So um, you can see you're going to need to put in two variables and it's going to be whether or not you want to ignore um, the lighter or the lantern. Um, we are actually not going to ignore the lantern because the whole point is that when the player is in light, um, their sanity should recover, their fear should recover. So um, we actually uh, will set these to be false. So we're going to go ahead and enter and we're going to put in false and then we're going to put in false as well. So whenever the player is in the light, their fear will recover. And um, this will return a light level. Um, so uh, I recommend you guys do some testing with uh, with the light level that you want. Um, I'm just gonna do a, a, a um, we're gonna check to see if the light level is greater than one. So I'm gonna do greater than 1.0F. Um, of course, this is pr this is pretty much brightness. So um, if your light is, you know, has a brightness of like, you know, um, one, two, three, whatever it is, um, you know, you gotta make sure you pass this threshold here. So I'm setting mine to be, 1.0 f again you guys might want to play with it i believe i believe it is brightness although i could be wrong um so i would play around with whatever works in this example i'm just going to show you um with this value set to 1.0 f this is the threshold um if you wanted to like put your but if, if you wanted to like um uh change like how sensitive or how bright the light has to be um, you can pretty much set it here, set this to something higher, so the threshold is a lot higher here. Um, of course, you can make a variable for this as well, like we've done in the past, um, but um, but uh, we're not gonna create a variable here. Um, and then um, now we're gonna add one more message here, and uh, we're gonna add another debug message here. And then what we're saying is, if indeed the light level is greater than 1.0F, um, then we will print this message um, and the message will just say uh, light threshold passed dot 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 uh, and then we'll put a semicolon at the end here so uh, if this if this if statement passes then that means that we've passed a certain uh, light threshold and we can go ahead and do whatever we want to do in here and what that is is apply a negative fear rate to remove the player's fear so um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and type in fear handler. And again, this is from episode 21 uh, when we talked about fear. So we're going to do fear handler underscore set. Uh, and we're going to say forced, fe uh, forced add fear rate. Um, and we're going to add negative 0.7F. So remember, it ranges from negative 1F to, neg to positive 1F. Those are the, that's the range as to how much fear you can apply so this will apply a negative amount of fear um if you're already getting fear applied like um <clears throat> if you're being chased by something and you get near the light um and the thing and the thing chasing you is applying like let's say like 4.4 fear then uh it will subtract 0.7 from 4 and then that'll give you the net uh fear rate um of course you can set this to a lot higher if you run it to be something super high you can change that to whatever you want as well um um, and then we'll go ahead and continue on here. So um, I'm going to put a comma here 
and we're going to go ahead and put 1.0 f for this one here so this will apply that fear rate for one um for one second and uh let me actually pull out the um let me actually pull out the command here so we can see all the um uh, let me scroll you guys so we can pull out all the um the variables that go in here um so uh first is the um the the fear rate that we want to add um uh, actually, we can skip the first one. It's gonna be the it's gonna be this one here. So it's gonna be um, the fear the amount of fear rate we're applying, the duration of it, um, whether or not Tassie should gasp, um, and uh, the the speed at which it should increase, decrease, delay. Um, and let me see which ones are required. Okay, so we can go ahead and just get away with putting in uh, a duration, and we don't have to put any of the the rest of the numbers here. So we're gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and put 1.0 F and then the rest we're gonna leave as default. So we're gonna go ahead and close it right here. Um, so um, uh, that's done. So now um, we're gonna go over this whole thing one more time. There's one more line we have to add here to uh, make this complete. So once the, the once the force, uh, the fear rate gets applied to the player, the negative fear rate uh, to reduce the fear, um, we want to go ahead and restart this timer and check again in a set amount of time. So the fear rate, we apply one second of uh, negative fear. So what we want to do is we want to check in one more second. So um, this will run for one second and then one second later, it will check again if the player is still in the light. So pretty much it will check in intervals of one second to see if the player is in the light. Um, if you wanted this to be quicker, you can do 0.5 or point, you know, 0.4, 0.1. Uh, set faster, but I don't want to check that often um, in case it has some kind of like uh, performance impact in the game So I think one second is perfectly fine to see this So we're gonna go ahead and type in map underscore restart current timer so uh, we can restart the timer that we're currently in and Then we can pass in how long we want before this spe this specific timer restarts and we're gonna do 1.0 F and close it out with a semicolon so um, let's go ahead and just run through all this one more time before we run it and we test it. So, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and go to the top here. Um, and um, so, when the player enters the level, whether it's spawning in or through a level door, um, we will run a timer. Ten seconds after the timer, after we we announce that we're gonna create a timer, the timer will run um, ten seconds. And what we're telling this timer to do is. Um, after 10 seconds, we want you to go ahead and check the check the light level that the player is currently in. We want to ignore. Um, we, we we don't want to ignore whether the whether or not the player has a lantern or a lighter or anything like that. We do want to account for that. If that light level is greater than 1.0 f, then uh, we're gonna go ahead and apply a negative fear rate to reduce the player's fear. And then we're gonna go ahead and um, restart this timer. And that fear that we applied is one second long. So we restart the timer in one second to check again if the player is in the light again. If the player is in the light, then we'll go ahead and do this again. If not, then this will get skipped and we'll just restart the timer in a second. And then we'll just loop uh, continuously. And whenever the player is in the light, um, the player will get applied a negative fear rate. Whenever the player is not in the light, um, nothing will happen. It will just keep looping and looping until the player does get in the light again. So that's pretty much it. We're gonna go ahead and save it, save it, and let's go ahead and launch up our game and uh, check out how uh, how this works. So let's go ahead and launch up the game and check it out. All right, so here we are in our level. So let's go ahead and wait here for a little bit. We're gonna look down here to see when we get our message. Um, so let's go ahead and wait and wait and wait and we should get our message in about 10 seconds after we entered There you go. We get our first message checking fear um, And you'll just keep showing us checking fear checking fear checking fear um, Since we're not in a light level bright enough for that um, It will just keep continuously looping checking fear um, until we are in the light So let's go ahead and turn the corner here and let's go ahead and get near the light here And then we should see we should see something start to happen and you see light threshold passed, and then look at our fear rate. Um, you can see our fear rate goes down to negative seven since we were at zero, and you just keep checking every second, light threshold passed, light threshold passed, and we will keep getting this negative fear rate. So if our fear level was up, it would go ahead and start going down, um, and we're gonna just chill here, and then let's go ahead and step away from it, 
and then now you can see our negative seven uh, came off and we're back to having no fear rate and it's just gonna keep checking fear checking fear and it's just gonna keep doing this and we can go to some other source of light here and it should do the same thing like threshold pass um, if we use uh, matches it should pretty much do the same thing as well uh, we can go ahead and light a match here and you can see light threshold passed and now we now we're getting negative fear rate so um that's it so uh, a really cool um idea for a custom story especially if you if you want to you know and I, I could i could already imagine some custom story called you know darkness or or you know follow the light or something like that you know and you know whenever you're near the light your fear rate will go up and and that'll be the whole premise around the story rather than relying and then you don't have to worry about putting in any kind of like sanity medication or anything in the game to increase the to decrease the player's fear level so um really cool again you might want to put it to negative seven uh probably something less would be better but just for example um i just chose uh negative seven negative point seven so with that guys that will conclude um episode two of my q a series for my amnesia rebirth um uh, custom story tutorial um you guys have been asking a lot of questions so i'm trying my best to get to all these videos I, again i i try to take pictures of all your comments and and i uh, uh I, whenever you guys ask comments if i don't know it off the top of my head i pretty much have to do the research myself um so if it takes me a while to get to some of your comments i'm sorry um uh, i'm gonna try to also make a video about your comments um uh, to cover see if i can cover some more ground um and see if i can answer all of your questions um and yeah, so keep asking questions. I'm glad you guys are interacting with uh, with my videos. Um, keep them coming. I'll do my best to answer as many as I can. Um, you guys ask a lot of great questions, and uh, sometimes you even help me realize that I've made mistakes on, in certain parts of things, or I didn't cover certain things because um, I didn't think about how you guys may have wanted to implement it. So uh, don't stop asking questions. I love all your questions. Um, with that, I'll wrap up the episode. Um, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment, uh, whatever you need, whatever, whatever you uh, want to say, and um, leave a like on the video. And with that, I'll wrap it up. Uh, have a good day, guys. See ya. Bye.